Bob McCullough with HN Homes here. Uh, these are two items that you need to uh, familiar yourself uh, with. Um, this is an HRV controller and this is your furnace uh, thermostat. Um, we are now in the age of IT and uh, believe it or not, this thermostat is Wi-Fi enabled and it can give you all the details that's on the face of this thermostat on your phone and telling you what uh, what is actually going on with your house. There's a lot of functionalities on the thermostat nowadays. Uh, you register the thermostat with uh, Ecobee. This is the brand name product. Uh, once you've registered the, uh, um, this particular thermostat with Ecobee, then they will send you back a signal uh, indicating um, that you've registered and it will tell you what the relative humidity is in your general area if you're in Ottawa or Canada or somewhere else in the general area. It will tell you what your relative humidity is uh, in the area. And why that's important is it actually determines whether or not you would be using your uh, humidifier or not. Uh, we had mentioned in previous videos that you want to be between 37 and 45 percent humidity. If you can see that, I don't know if you can. Right now we're uh, maxing out at 45 percent. Uh, this is a new construction home right now. Um, if we were exceeding 45 percent we would again want that dehumidifier uh, bought and purchased downstairs and uh, up and running so that it keeps it within that realm. We just dropped to 44 percent. So that's getting back to the, uh, the furnace thermostat here. Like I said the um, it is user friendly. It's very intuitive. Uh, you can scroll through. I'm sure you cannot see the menu there through this video, uh, but it does have uh, in here a system that shows you uh, the HVAC controller on whether you want it on heat cooler or whether you want it on auto. It also has uh, the ability to um, have your fan running, uh, and we recommend having your fan running as, as maximum amount as possible. So this particular one, you can go 55 minutes per hour. Uh, some of the units you can go 24-7. Uh, this one, every 55 minutes that fan will be working, for five minutes it will not be working. Why we want the fan working is uh, a couple of things. We want the fan working so that you're getting um, a, a better uh, balance of whether it's heat or cooling throughout the house. The other benefit of uh, doing that is you're constantly filtering the air in the house. So uh, again, those people that are, have uh, allergies, that type of thing, the more you can get that air going through that filter, uh, the better off you are. Um, with talking about circulation, uh, you can also accomplish the same thing through your HRV. It has the ability to circulate air within the house and not necessarily bring in new air or exhaust air. Um, back to the uh, system here, uh, again, you have uh, cold, you have hot, hot for the winter season, obviously cold for the summer season. Uh, then you have auto. Auto is usually set so you can set the parameters on here on your temperatures. Um, it is usually uh, used in the spring and the fall so when you have that very uh, hot day um, your air conditioner could go on. So that's really the only criteria. Is you need both. You need the furnace to be able to go on and the air conditioner to go on in that auto mode. Uh, so spring and fall, when you can have those conditions, whether it's uh, very hot during the day, your air conditioner might kick in. You've set the parameter that you want the air conditioner to kick in when it gets warmer than say uh, 21 degrees Celsius. Um, the parameter that you could set in for the heat when the furnace would go on is maybe night, you get a very, very cool night or uh, and you want the furnace to kick in when it becomes uh, say about maybe 17 so you have the ability to have both of those appliances working on the same day uh, in that auto mode, depending on what parameters you can set. So what's quite unique about this is that um, on this you can um, set it up so that it is automatic from uh, a seven day period. You can set those parameters in those seven day periods. It has a home mode away mode and sleep mode. So again, you can set the parameters on it, on when you're home you want it at this particular temperature, when you're sleeping you want it on this particular temperature. When you're going away to work in the middle of winter, you don't need uh, a house that's sitting at say 24 degrees. You can 
bring it down to 18 degrees. So it's quite nice in that aspect. Again, because it's Wi-Fi enabled as well, um, if there's problems that arise out of your furnace, it can give you a notice on your um, phone that all of a sudden you're having a problem. It will tell you um, what the problem is. It will also keep a history if you have a reoccurring problem, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Comfort settings, you can set it so that there's reminders and alerts on as well. Uh, we had talked about changing your furnace filter every four times uh, a year, so quarterly. So it can give you notice, again, either here and on your phone, hey guys, it's time to change your furnace filter, which is really, really nice as far as an alert. Um, you can also set your own preferences here. Once again, you've uh, registered the unit. You can set your own preferences on, on um, what type of notifications that you're gonna get, uh, how often you may get them, uh, the dimming or the brightness of this, or how you want, um, what you want showing on the interface here as well. So um, there's probably more stuff on here that you can do that I even know about. So um, if you're an IT savvy person, I know the young people in the crowds can get this up and going pretty quickly. Uh, old guys like me, it takes a little longer. So um, moving on over to the HRV. Uh, what's important about the HRV? Well, actually, uh, it is something that uh, there's probably four settings on this that you can do and those settings involves one is fan. So uh, you can have the fan at zero, so meaning that it's not on, and you can usually go up to speed four, so you can set the, the speed of the fan. You can also set the fact that um, you can have it just circulated, like I mentioned before, or you can have it actually ventilating. The reason why HRVs were designed, as I may have mentioned in other videos, is that your houses are very airtight and you can get very stale air in the house. The actual indoor quality air can be worse than the outdoor quality of air. So you wanna be able to take this air, have the ability to take this air and push it out and bring new air in. Uh, the caveat to that is when you are bringing new air in, you are bringing not just the air, but the humidity with it. So the word of caution is, is that before you have this bringing new air in, you have to ascertain whether or not your humidity levels will allow you to bring in extra humidity. Hence why I said that um, once you've registered this, this will tell you what the outdoor humidity is outside right now. So an example is outdoor humidity outside right now is 52%. So if I went ahead and turned this on over a period of time, I would raise from 43% humidity up to the 52%. So at this particular time, I wouldn't be evacuating air and bringing new air in because I'd be bringing that high humidity with me. So that's the kind of the balancing act that you want to be doing. Um, the other thing is, is if, if you did have uh, an occasion that you had, uh, say, cooked fish in the house and you have company come over and you want to get rid of that air, you could turn this on and evacuate the air out of here for a short period of time, understanding that your humidity level is going to increase in the house and your dehumidifier, which you purchased, is going to be working that much harder to try and balance it out again. So um, there are full instructions on this as well. Uh, at your, uh, with your PDI kit that we give you, we give you full instructions on how to operate this, a little more in detail. Uh, also uh, with the Ecobee, um, we don't necessarily give you instructions on this, but it is a web-based uh, product as well. So you can go to the Ecobee website once you're registering it and you can get a full detail. Um, I, like I said, it's very intuitive, so it's a matter of spending uh, a bit of time standing here playing with it, or once you've downloaded and registered it and it's on your phone, then you can um, certainly sit uh, at a nice comfortable position and, and review it on your phone 